So here we are guys in the solar and sat workshop. We've just completed two very similar compact power systems in two caravans. Let's go and check out what we've done inside. We've got a masterpiece caravan in the workshop this week. We've just completed a pretty cool power system I wanted to show you guys. It's all ended up underneath the bed and in one of the overhead cupboards up here as well. So the customers with this system we've put in, they'll be able to run their coffee machine, their aircon, even their microwave as well. Um, up to anything up to 3000 watts and I'll show you exactly what we've put underneath the bed back here. As you can see, there's still plenty of storage. So they've still got two thirds of, of room underneath the bed here, whilst having a pretty huge power system over to this side. And it's still got a lot of ventilation in there as well. So we've put a vent on the front. We've put a three KVA Victron inverter in, and we've put in one of our own in-house built Shelby lithium batteries. So that's got a capacity of 270 amp hours and a discharge rate of 250 amps. Works perfectly with this size inverter. You don't have to have three batteries all wired together. It's just the one dropped in, nice and sturdy. That won't be going anywhere. We've got a fan just down below here as well. Once the inverter produces enough heat, it'll blow the hot air out, as well as allowing the cool air to come in through this front vent here. We've got a Lynx distributor all labeled so you know what fuses do what, and then also a 100-50 solar controller to handle all the solar that we've put up on the roof there. Basically, yeah, I just wanted to show you how little room a big system can, can take up and still be able to run all the 240 volt appliances in the van when the customers are off grid. I'll show you exactly what we've done over in this overhead cupboard up here. We remo removed a, a solar regulator and a few charges and things um, and put one of our own panels in place and this will cover up all the old holes, makes for a, a better than factory looking finish. Um, so this is an acrylic plate cut on our router with the BMV screen mounted in it. You can see exactly how much power you're using, exactly how much power is coming in and your capacity, as well as being able to turn the inverter on and off, set it to charger only and dial down your AC input current limit too. So up there with all the other factory switches, nice and easy to get to, you just go to the one spot. So Adam's also done a very similar power system in a caravan this week too. Let's throw over to him and see exactly what he's done. Thanks Vince, we'll take a run through this brand new Willow Boab. Hasn't even been delivered to the customer yet, so it's gonna be a good surprise for them. We've gone all out with this on with acrylic paneling and everything. So jump under here, we'll have a look at what we've got and what components we've put in this one. So under the bed here, try to keep this system as compact as possible. We're running our very own Shervy lithium batteries, 270 amp hour, 250 amp discharge. We make them in house here and suited for Pretty much all our uh, Victron systems we install in caravans and the back of canopies. In the charging system, we run a 100-50 solar regulator, which does the 800 watts of solar up on the roof. We've got a 30 amp DC to DC charger for obviously vehicle charging. Run the multi plus two 3000 volt amp. That can allow the customer to either run like the air conditioner or a separate kettle or a separate toaster all the sort of components you want to run in the caravan. Distributing the fusing back to the battery, you run the Lynx distribution unit, as well as a single MIDI fuse holder. So the only difference between mine and Vince's install is I have a DC to DC charge we've had to install in this one. This one here is so the customer can get 30 amps from the vehicle's alternator and obviously charge the battery. In Vince's install, it was not required. So we've also installed the clear acrylic lid that's pretty much so we can draw the cold air into the system and let the fans of the Multi Plus push the hot air out and then it keeps circulating to keep the system cool. So in here, we've got the inverter brains. That's a digital multi-control. That allows you to turn the inverter on, inverter off and adjust your current limits. The current limits, if you're running off a generator, you can dial it right down. If you're running off a 10 amp circuit at your house, you can dial it up to 9.5, 10 amps, and then 15 amps, that way you're not triggering any circuit breaker faults or anything like that. Your BMV712 is your battery percentage. It also allows you to know what wattage you're pulling out of the battery and the amps you're pulling out of the battery at the moment. So you can see here we've done a nice factory look, nice and compact under the bed, so the customer can still use the required space under the bed and still enjoy all the power they want whenever they want. All right, if you're chasing an upgrade on your power system, come and see us at Solar and Sat Bundaberg and we'll get you powered up.
And just a quick reminder that we are national distributors of all Victron Energy and Chervy Solar products. So whether you be an end user or you wanna buy wholesale for your own business, make sure you check out our website. So if you're enjoying our videos and you wanna see more, please give us a like and subscribe. Cheers.